What's up, folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So almost about eight years ago, one of the first videos that got this channel started was how to set up a triple monitor configuration for your PC. And throughout the years, we've had a number of different videos covering the topic, whether that's setting up a large triple monitor configuration or a smaller one, but it's always been for a desktop PC. Nowadays, since most people are going towards more smaller, compact desktop solutions, perhaps going to laptop replacements, it's time now uh, to finally address the issue of how to create a, a triple screen configuration for your laptop. Well, you could do it a number of, of ways, whether that's actually attaching physical monitors to your laptop. Now you have portable monitors as well that have USB-C integration. But what about a solution that's all in one, fully integrated and that's ultra portable? Well, this is where the ZBAC TriScreen 2 comes in. It's basically an all in one dual monitor solution that universally attaches to any any laptop that has two video output connections and has a screen size of 12 to 20 inches. Now the actual housing for the dual screens is actually very compact and portable within itself. It weighs under one kilogram or about 900 grams or two pounds. It measures around 12 by seven and a half inches and it's only about one inch in terms of depth. The actual monitors themselves are actually very thin, only measuring around 6.5 five millimeters in terms of thickness. Now the installation process of the ZBAC TriScreen 2 is actually pretty simple. You basically have this elastic band which allows the housing to expand and contract. Therefore it can accommodate laptop screen sizes ranging from 12 to 20 inches. The mounting point of the housing run all the way from the side of your laptop to the uppermost corners and they're nicely padded and secure. The back of the housing also has a built-in cake stand which will eliminate any kind of undue stress on uh, to the uh, laptop uh, display hinge as well as uh, the screen itself. Once everything is mounted securely you can simply slide out each of the displays and in terms of connectivity options each display is equipped with uh, two USB-C slash Thunderbolt connections that will provide power and video all in one as well as a HDMI connection so depending upon what laptop you're using you're going to need uh, to supply each of the displays with power and a, a video connection. Now if you're using the Intel based MacBook Pro, which is the previous generation like what we have right now, the setup is really simple. You can simply hook up one Thunderbolt connection to each of the monitors and the ports are very easily laid out and you can have this sleek and minimalistic setup that takes you about 15 seconds to set up from start to finish. Now, importantly, if you're using a laptop that doesn't have two video output connections, or perhaps it doesn't support two external monitor displays, like in the new M1 chip on the new generation MacBook Airs and Pros, you can get the ZBAC TriScreen adapter, which will essentially power and provide video signal to both monitors using one USB connection. So that means you can use it with the new generation M1 chips on the MacBook Airs and Pros, or in indeed any Windows, Linux, or Chrome OS, a laptop that has a USB type A or C connection. Now, in terms of the display specifications, each of them measure around 10.1 inches in terms of diagonal screen size. They have a native resolution of 1920 by 1200. They are LCD IPS panels, so the viewing angles are excellent. 60 hertz refresh rate and an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. Each display is equipped with its on-screen menu system that will allow you to adjust the individual brightness, color balance, as well as different uh, presets, including HDR mode. Now, if you're on the go and powering these screens on your laptop battery, uh, the uh, brightness is definitely a crucial thing if you want to not drain your battery too much, although you will be uh, draining it regardless, anywhere between 20 to 40% based on my experience. And additionally, if you want to actually use the extra USB-C connections available on the monitors for pass-through uh, charging and power connectivity you can do so if uh, you don't have any uh, connections available on your laptop which is nice. Now I've been using the TriScreen 2s for a couple of weeks now and I do have to say it's a game changer if you're into productivity, need more screen real estate, whether that's for work-related tasks, productivity, or media content creation. Specific for me, uh, using Premiere Pro, it's extremely important that I have a multiple monitor solutions to be more optimal. One uh, to see all my uh, video footage, the other one uh, to look at the actual project using the reference monitor, and one uh, that allows me to see a 
timeline in a full size fashion, uh, particularly on the main display. And previously, this was only possible in a desktop like setup with large monitors that are nowhere near as portable and as integrated as a setup like this. So, if you're uh, looking uh, to get uh, basically the ultimate productivity rig that you can take anywhere with you be flexible in terms of your office space your time and be ultra convenient this is definitely a no-brainer solution for a lot of people out there and considering the fact that from a value and performance standpoint laptops are getting more and more on par with uh, the performance you're getting with most desktop grade pcs now I'm going to continue evolving this setup a little bit further. I'm going to be doing a little bit more traveling in the next coming weeks and months. So we're going to kind of create the ultimate on the go productivity rig and uh, definitely make sure you have post notifications and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. In the meantime, I want to thank ZBAC for supplying uh, this uh, review unit, also for sponsoring uh, this content. Without them, uh, this uh, wouldn't be uh, possible. And I want to thank you guys so much for continuing watching and supporting supporting the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you have uh, liked and thumbs up the video as well as comment if you haven't done so already. Uh, check out the description for more information about uh, this particular uh, setup and products we've talked about and we'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.